は。<laughs> Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to this training report. Today I've got uh, B2 Blue Abroad. What's going on, mate? Not so bad, mate. How good are to, you? Good to see you at our, our spiritual home. Oh, it is, yeah. It's nice and sunny as well. Sun's come out. Sun has come out. Um, look, let's be honest, it wasn't, a, it wasn't an open session where you really took much out of who looks good or whatnot. Um, but it was good to see some of the boys in action, some of the drills, some of the things we're working on. Um, we had a really good spot down on the wing, so a lot of the drills that were rotating were coming through us. Uh, what were some of the some of the things you saw that stood out? I think for me the big surprise was seeing Doc be involved in a lot of the contact drills mm. at the start of the session, yep. and seeing he's still got that wonderful lateral movement and that nice drilled kick. I saw him play off half back, did a little small six on six drill. And he had still had that touch of being able to just find that hole, yeah. that gap, and attack the gap. So he looks at this stage, he hasn't lost much. He's still got what made him famous. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. He was wearing a t-shirt, unfortunately, so we didn't get to quite see. Didn't get to see his abs. Didn't quite. Yeah, didn't quite get to see the the ripped arms. But um, yeah, session started. We was like I said, sitting on the wing. We saw Matt Kennedy, and who was also wearing a t-shirt. So we didn't get to see those ripped <coughs> arms. Um, but he was also with Mitch McGovern, who had uh, his calf strap. Now again. Don't know if that's an injury, don't know what it is, just management, but you know, running laps on the, on the side, um, you know, it was good to see most of the boys out there. Uh, there were a few that we'll touch on as well. Um, but yeah, just on Mitch, what do you, how do you think he's Oh, he, he looks super fit. Yeah. We've got that bat on who kicks my goals, him or Harry. We sure do. I reckon it's locked in, it's Mitch. He just looked, he, he's, he's trimmed down, but now we're starting to see muscle being built and even Kennedy as well. Yeah. Matt Kennedy looked looked like substantially smaller in weight, yeah, I agree. but more lean. Yeah. Like so, for me, both of them looked exciting prospects next year. Yep. They did this. They had like sort of three stations uh, around the ground. We were right in front of. It was like a defensive zone drill. Yeah. Which I thought was really cool. It was really good. Yeah. Um, the idea was they had their their setup, um, and then they would move the ball, and obviously the players would have to move accordingly, and then they'd make them stop and close their eyes and then scream out who was in front of them, who was on their left, who was on yep. their right. Um, I thought that was a really interesting drill to watch them do. Uh, and obviously, you know what, you're, you know, we're building on communication, building on making their patterns and their movement, you know, subconscious. Yeah, well, I mean, it's interesting because last year there was a lot in the Carlton forums about Bolton's zonal yep. defence. And if anyone came down to open training last year, they worked in triangles, which is basically the core principle of zonal drills. Mm -hmm. But I thought this drill was better because it was becoming, making them be more subconscious with yeah. it, that, you know, it was becoming natural. And it was impressive to see the players who were very good at the drills. Yep. SPS was actually phenomenal. Yep. And so was... Um, Weetering as well when he did it. Yeah, Weetering's just... Yeah, because the, the coach has actually commented that he should take the drills because yep. he literally had got to the stage where he named even people who weren't part of his. Yep. Like he was actually going, Doc's here, Dow's actually ahead of Doc. Like yep. he, it's amazing his awareness of the game yep. from a snapshot. So it's really important that, because that's one thing that Goddard said last year, Brendan Goddard about Carlton, that when you switch to a zonal defence at Essendon, it took them two seasons for it to become second nature mm -hmm. because some people let it slide so it's important that you learn to pick up the pieces and not be like who's my man yep. and be floating you've got to know what's going on and i think that was a really good drill it was interesting as well because playfair took that drill yep. most of that drill so that yep. was an interesting movement there for Carlton as well yeah we had you know in the meantime while this was happening and this has been something i've now seen in two sessions uh maddie always to the side doing his own um his own work i don't know if he's sore with something um or again you've got to remember like a basketballer you know, I remember when I was playing, I played basketball my whole life. When I started playing footy, the soft tissues were just hurting. It's a different movement. I wonder if he's working around that. Um, the body's moving in a different way. It's not so much stop start, um, you know, obviously longer distance. Um, so he was doing his own program. Nick Newman as well. He just said, did laps. He, he basically just did laps for the entire session. So but he does look fit. Yeah, yeah, he, look, he looks fine. But I mean, there's obviously, there's a balance between is he managing something and okay maybe this is just part it of was it. a weird one because he was the only one who was doing laps that didn't have strapping or anything yeah. noticeable yeah. to say because he didn't even like when he came off he didn't do what the other did players did and were like pointing and getting into big discussions with stuff yeah like 
like always I saw him have a bit with Russell and he was pointing to his knee, ankle mm. and it was almost as if like Russell would said what's how's the ankle yeah, going what's happening is it, I mean, yeah. was it but, lower leg upper leg but yeah. like with Newman to know. it looked like he was ready to go yeah. and it looked like as well the way that he kind of looked like he wanted to be involved as well so yep. that would say to me it's probably not too serious yep yep you made the comment about how you feel like the training sessions are a little bit more focused just yeah. on the observation that you made during the session? Last, last year there wasn't many splits. It was like almost like there was two splits, defense and attack. But this this week, this today as well, there was like eight stations. It was almost like being at school. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, like at the sports day where you've got to spend five minutes doing tennis and then do something else. It was like everyone was taking part in every little drill and they were shifting. And you could hear the chatter, particularly when it was in front of us, was all about the drill. There yep. was last year there was quite a few times I picked players up talking about weekends and where we're going for a beer tonight these guys seem super focused yeah. on what they're doing and that's yeah. exciting because there was some good some good moments like TDK and Pitney we saw that drill like yeah. it was amazing to see TDK smash Pitney for most of the rook drills yeah so we'll go through and you'll see the vision as we're talking now they had another drill to our left where it was it was almost like a confined stoppage drill. It was like three on three yeah. or four on four. They had to get through the stoppage. Uh, you see some of the highlights here. Uh, it was good to see a little bit of Zach Fisher's footwork in there. Oh, Fisher, yeah, it was uh, candy. There was a moment there, I don't think I've got it on camera, but there was a moment there where Lockie O'Brien was trying to tackle Jack Silvani and he just was, you know, hanging off him and Jack just doesn't go to ground as we as we came to see at the end of, of this season. Um, so while that was happening, we also saw this really cool ruck drill. So Pitonet and TDK. And they were doing repeat stoppages, maybe two or three ruck taps to a midfielder who I didn't see who it was. It, it was Newman. Been a coach. It, was it was Newman. Oh, it was Newman. Newman okay. came off the run and actually okay. played on the ball in that drill. Yeah, so there was. That could be interesting. Two ruckmen and, you know, just tapping it down to Newman. And yeah. then, you know, they'd do maybe two or three and then they'd run to a different part of the ground. And that went on for 20, 25 yeah, good 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah, there was. Yeah, and then once I started doing set shots, TDK <laughs> copped the Falcon. <laughs> yeah, he did. I was out for 30 minutes uh, of uh, non-stop I'm not too work. sure if my boy Josh Honey's got a contract on him, but yeah. he tried to take him out a few times with the old errant kicks. So. Yeah, yeah. But no, it was interesting to see TDK. That was one of the things we talked about, not much rook craft last year, yep. Chance. Yep. But it was interesting to see that he was really, really holding his own. Yep. Like, Pitonet is a strong boy. It's one thing that he's known for. Yep. And TDK was holding him off. Yeah, so uh, it was good to see. For me, if he came in round one now, based on just what I've seen today, I'd be quite confident he could hold his own you as the so? second Ruckman, yeah. I mean, I've got, you know, you know me, I've got full faith in Tom, but uh, I'm but, just cautious with bringing him in too early. He just looks like a man now. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one thing, because watching Mark, he's dominated Ruckman before. Yep. And he dominated in the VFL. He just made people look like children. Yep. And it was good to see TDK really, really fighting back. And he, I would say he won about 80%. Yep. 80%, like, because he's, his height, that leap is just something else. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Um, there was another draw that we saw towards the left of us as well. It was, it was almost like a kick out. It was the kick out of defence. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Simo coming out to either Sam Petrovsky seaton or coming out to Jacob Wiedering or Lockie Plowman, which was, again, like, like we said at the start of the video, you know, this really wasn't... A, a session where it's like, oh, you know, they're, you know, they're looking really super fit, you know, this particular player. But just to see what they're trying to work on, trying to figure out from our point of view, being fans in the in, in the crowd, okay, what are you working on here? Um, I know, I know, I'm biased with Jacob Wiedering, but he does look good. He's just kicking the ball well. I look at the little things like the rotation on the ball, like how does it hit, where is it hitting, just everything's just sort of coming right here in the sweet oh, spot. There was, there was a drill that they were doing him and. Um, who was it? Him and Gibbo. Yeah. They were messing around. They had a bit of free time. They yeah. were doing NFL throws. Yeah. And they were throwing bullets. And you he want to see yeah. Wheatering. He was taking them like over his head like that yeah. with his hand. He was his 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 eyes in the game. It's exciting. Yeah. That hand eye coordination with him is. But I think that kicking drill. One thing we've missed in what did look is Tom Williamson. Yes. Tom he w was he was nailing. He was nailing everything. Like, he yeah. looked super fit. He went off a bit early to just do laps. Yeah, so with that, so going back to that four and four drill, we saw we saw him in there, and who was it he that was tackled him? Jay Someone Sos. Ta Jay Sos Sos tackled him. him. It was, you know, and it was good to see, oh, okay, so Tom's in full training, you know, Jackson tackled him hard. All right, good. Tom, he's starting to absorb contact, and then five minutes later, he starts doing laps. So, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not suggesting he got injured or anything. I but don't think he did. Yeah, he was he, running very freely. Yeah, he was. Sprinting as well. It he, must be part of the program, but... We were sitting here with, with Heath Buck um, uh, from My Blue Heaven and we made the comment this time last year, Williamson was, was basically Nick Newman today. He was just strictly running laps. So 
to see that improvement uh, is good and it is an important year for him, let's be honest. Um, you know, he's got to really show something in 2020 for us to see what's going to happen beyond. I think he's going to make it. I think he's got the character and look by the looks of him, he's got the body now. Um, I think it was interesting as well because when you watch the kicking drill and the 4 and 4 drills, they seem to be playing in that defensive set. So you'd imagine that's Cade Simpson's back pocket. Yep. And the kind of the kicking drills we were seeing was Cade Simpson to Wheatering to a handball to Williamson repeat yep. with the kick. Yep. And Williamson was really like that injection of pace off halfback where mm -hmm. I think that's where we're going to see him. But his body, he probably has impressed me the most today, yeah, Williamson. Yeah, yeah in terms of what his body's way. looking like. He just looks abnormal compared to where he was two years ago yeah. like he looks he's thicker the arms are clearly like bigger. i'd have him ahead of newman just by looking in shape wise i would say williamson is far ahead of him it's a great headache it's a great question because he um, looks you know, so fit yeah no he does he looks he looks really good i can't remember him looking like that like muscular yeah and no, he's still got his pace and yeah. he's got that booming kick we saw that today yeah. like he's growing, i'm excited about willow he's growing into his body which and that was the other comment we made a lot of these boys are starting to look like men. Yeah, they're, they're getting rid of that baby face, um, and that and that's good. I think speaking of baby face, we spoke about Paddy Dow. We haven't spoken about Paddy Dow. Um, good haircut. He's, he's got a haircut. We had a haircut, and he looks. He almost looks lighter. Maybe it's the haircut. I don't, I don't know, but he looks. He almost looks skinnier he, and lighter. I've, I've got to say, like I've had this argument a lot all year. Like statistically, Dow was better than he was in 2018, so he's actually progressed. Yep. One thing today is he never missed a target. Yeah, yeah, yeah I must say. He was doing on ball drills yep. and he was doing like you know helping out in the half back drills and he was just hitting target after target. Yeah, it was. Noticeable. And I would say he was the best kick that we watched in the kicking drills. He was probably the only one with 10 out of 10. Yep. So it was interesting to see if. It's maybe a ma match situation stumbling block, yep. but under no pressure, just under training things, he was easily the best. No, it was good to see. Uh, and that's all, mate. It was a good session. Good Pretty to hang good out. Good to, see, good to get some sun. Um, let us know what you thought about the report. We've got some highlights for you today. We've added to last week and looking forward to the last session next week. Yeah, you it, look out for the video, about yeah. a 30 minute full yeah. highlights package so that Dan I've is, recorded it Dan, all. Is, Dan took the whole session, so if you are- uh, You interstate fans. Yeah, if you are into Carlton training uh, highlights and uh, if, you're, if you're an addict like we all are, then uh, we've got the highlights package for you. Have a good one.